Hey everyone, welcome to Crafting Carnivore, Sean Hyla, and today is Vlogmas Day 8. Yay, it's getting closer to Christmas and I have so much shopping to do. <laughs> I haven't hardly gotten anything done. It just sneaks up on you. This is that way for everybody else. Like every year, it feels like it sneaks up faster and faster on me. I did get a few things yesterday from my buddies, my crafting buddies, because I always have to send them presents. I already got them a couple of things, but I um, wanted to get them something else. So I did also buy some new Christmas cards. I know I have some left over from last year, but I didn't know how much, where they are, because I don't have hardly any of the Christmas stuff down. So I got these at Hobby Lobby. For half off, you get 20 cards for $9.99, so five bucks. They had so many ones. I had such a hard time deciding. So I got this one. There's the inside. They had some that were like 3D and really pretty. And then I like the simplicity of this one with the buffalo check. And the inside looks like. I was excited about these. So I need to start working on some Christmas cards. I already got a couple. If you um, want to send me a Christmas card, I'll send you one back. Uh, I am doing away with the PO box. I haven't officially closed it yet, but I haven't paid for it, so I know it's closed. So um, you'll just have to email me and actually email. Is it in there? Yeah, there's my email going across there. So just email me if you want to send me a Christmas card and I'll send you my address. Here's, I'll look at those envelopes. That's with the buffalo check. And, oh, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, see what these look like. I don't think I have to get stamps either. I think I have plenty of stamps. All right. Well, these are going to be plain. These are just plain Jane. Nothing special on them. Oh, well. I like the pretty envelopes. But we have some uh, labels that are Christmas. They only have my husband's name on them because they're like from, I don't remember which organization, but you know, give certain organizations and they send you a bunch of uh, free stuff so like there's some veterans ones and you know St. Jude's and stuff like that I think it's St. Jude's maybe it's I can't remember but they'll send you like labels and calendars and all kinds of stuff so he gets all kinds of stuff in his name and so I got like labels a lifetime of labels <laughs> with our return address on it and his name since he's the one that did it but um yeah so those will be on there. So if you get one from a man's name, return label, and you're like, who's that? <laughs> My husband. But yeah, you can send me a Christmas card or email me. If you want a Christmas card, I'll try to get one out to you. You can send me your address. I know I sent one to James and Emily last year, and they never got it. So that was frustrating, but I know that happens. So hopefully they'll get one. I'll try to send them one this year. I just noticed how windy it is outside. I anchored my blow-up, the one blow-up I put out. So hopefully it's okay. Yeah, I can. We've got those little garden flags too. That's one of our decorations. We've got them all over our flower beds. We have a lot of flower beds, and um, yeah, they're just a whipping. And my weeds are are really whipping. <laughs> I never did get it all weeded. It looks terrible. There's one big section looks terrible. The rest of it looks decent. But and being sick, you know, off and on, it's so busy during the fall. So it's hard to keep up with it. But yeah, I haven't done. I used, if you watched yesterday's vlog, you see that I finally got the tree up yesterday evening, and I wanted to throw it out the door. I literally, if I could pick that nine foot tree up, you know, and put it over my shoulder like a muscle man, I would have thrown it in the front yard. I seriously would have. It's frustrating me. We got it at Ellis Home and Garden, and people that are from around this area, and you know, if you're in Louisiana, you may have heard of it. And I've always loved their trees. My husband got me a tree there a few years ago. It frustrates me. First of all, the instructions on how to assemble it, and it's a pre-lit tree, and how to, you know, attach all the different sections together don't match up with the tree at all. It's not the right tree. Um, there's not the right instructions for that tree. And last year, when me and my son took it apart, the, it's got four sections. The two middle sections would not come back apart. So I had to, and I got a big bag to put it in, which I thought was a good idea from Amazon. It's okay, but it's really hard to get it up in the attic. The big 
box was really difficult to get up in the attic because you have to go up and then you have to go this way and there's beams up there like you go up this way and there's all these beams so it's hard to maneuver but the bag is so like floppy and it's big I wish I would have gotten two bags and put in put you know like two sections in one bag and two sections in another bag but anyway those two sections were stuck together and we could not get them apart so I just put them in the bag so trying to muscle that out by myself and put that up and the uh if you go from the bottom the third section was not lit up and I was you know trying to find the plugs like trying to find the, what plugs into each other I never can I have to plug in two things into the wall because I can never figure out what plugs into each other nothing works found out that that second section down or third section up was not lit so I tried to take the fuse I tried everything so I tried to take the fuses out I've had to take replace fuses and lights before and usually you can just kind of like knock them out and they come out really easy. Not on that tree. I had to get pliers out like needle nose pliers and then I broke the fuses and then had to like pull them out in pieces and of course I couldn't get new fuses in there. They will not fit in there. I tried every which way I wanted to scream. I was sweating profusely. I was so frustrated. I was not in the Christmas spirit last night. You can tell. I that was yeah so uh, the one bin that I have down at Christmas stuff I happened to rem uh, remember seeing some like three turns of random lights in there of LED lights and two of them were white so I brought one in and started wrapping and realized that that wasn't enough so I grabbed the other white lights and of course it's two different colors of white so the tree is pre-lit with soft white which people are used to soft white for Christmas one of the lights is the bright white which actually has like a blue tinge if you I'm sure you've seen that so one little section is blue white and then the rest is soft white. <laughs> but at least it's all lit up I'm like eh, you know I wanted my nine foot tree got my nine foot tree but it's just horrible. it's horrible it's really pretty tree but trying to get it together and get it apart is just, it's absolutely horrible I need something much easier but I'll be stuck with that for several years, I'm sure. Until I do throw it out in the street or something. <laughs> oh gosh, yeah. I have a love-hate relationship with that tree. So I And I did do a little bit of decorating. I had a big box of like floral picks. Um, so I put a bunch of floral picks in the holes. And I did show that as well on yesterday's video. Like what it looked like before and then after. And what it looked like with that section unlit. And then what it looked like with it lit so I have got that but that's all I've gotten on it my um, ornaments and everything is all up, up in the attic I actually thought about using new ribbon I saved the ribbon and the mesh that I've used on it but I've used that mesh and ribbon like for several years it's still pretty I'm just thinking about using something different I have several rolls of Sam's Club the big Christmas room I have all different designs so I'm thinking about doing a new ribbon and or maybe two ribbons and making a big tree topper bow and then just getting a few ornaments down and in calling it good so I may be doing that if I do that I'll show if I do that today I'll show that possibly in this video or tomorrow's if I do tomorrow's so the last two vlogmases I did were like four minutes long this one's gonna be closer to 10 but so it's after two o'clock I haven't eaten yet but that's because I've been lazy <laughs> still not sleeping great and I still don't feel 100% but the headaches the sinus headaches are much much better which is so great I still have a little bit of dizziness but not bad so I'm I'm okay with that with this voice thing <clears throat> just tired I'm not sleeping good. like I said I'm not sleeping good and and even trying to go back to bed and get some sleep like I'm having a hard time falling asleep then too so I just a lot of laziness I'm not getting a lot done I have tried to walk a little bit I haven't I don't think I walked yesterday, but it's been like maybe like a 10 minute walk or something, but I get just, I get really flushed and everything. So, but I think getting into that habit again will be really good, even if it's just a really short walk or if I do several really small walks during the day. So I'm trying to get back into that habit and I just heard my oven go off. So I'm cooking some bacon today. That's going to be my first meal. I actually I had a Celsius this morning. Well, I had a few sips and I, and I um, put about this much just regular water and then the celsius because it's just too much on my heartburn it's too carbonated for me so i only had a few sips this morning but a couple of sips now so i'll um probably be drinking that and maybe make a nice coffee after that i always have to have my iced coffee but yes yeah, so i'm gonna eat 
Um, it's the same sculpt bacon, and they do them in sheets, and I can't remember how many pieces you get, but I actually have one and a half sheets, so that's what I'm cooking. That should be plenty for me. And so it'll be about 2.30 when I eat. I don't know if I'll eat again. Sometimes I just... I'm doing a lot of not really hungry and eating like the second time. I don't know why, but it's just happening. I'm like, I don't know if it's boredom or just not feeling good. And I want the comfort. I don't know. But yeah, that's where I'm at. So maybe this will be it for me, but I have a feeling it won't be. But maybe I can keep it in a tight window. So I have done OMAD a few times, but it, it like once or twice in a row and that's it because then I'll be like super hungry because I don't get enough to eat during that. I just can't eat that much in one sitting. I have uh, done really tight windows in the past and that worked, you know, worked pretty good for me, but with the menopause, everything's kind of out the window. So I just kind of take it day by day, but all right, I hope everyone is doing well. Happy Vlogmas, everyone. I'm trying to watch other people's vlogs, but I, you know, I'll skip a few days and then I'll kind of like binge watch them and stuff. So I know Lindy's doing them every day. Paleo Barbie does keto if you're not familiar with Lindy. Um, Jason, I saw, is doing like 12 days of chaffle. So that's really cool. I can't wait to see that. Um, Misty is doing, she does live streams. I've only caught one, like one I was three minutes too late for. I was like, really? So Misty, uh, your pal Misty, she's doing them, um, but in a live stream. But she does advent calendars during it, which I think is really cool. And Lindy does ad advent calendars too with her grand grandkids. Um, I wish I had gotten some kind of advent calendar. I was like, oh, well, why didn't I do that? Um, let's see, who else? I'm, I'm going blank, you guys. Who else is doing vlogmas? Uh, Karen, at, um, Keto Vore. It just went out of my head. Y'all know who I'm talking about. She's Keto Vore. Um, oh my gosh. She's doing Vlogmas too. Um, I'm trying to remember. It doesn't seem like I've seen a whole lot of Vlogmas this year. You know, is Jen doing them this year? I haven't even seen. Um, I haven't seen anything from Jen Delaney. Have you guys seen anything? I need to I need to check up on some people and see. I, you know, I haven't seen like Alan or anybody doing them either, but I need to kind of check and see what everybody going through the subscription and see what everybody's doing. I'm probably missing somebody, but um, I'll try to put them in the description. If I, I'll try to put links in the description of everybody I know that's doing Vlogmas. How about that? And that way, if you want to watch Vlogmas, and if you're a creator, you know, it's a Vlogmas is a good way to get some some hours in doing it every day so it, it it's always done really well for me I'm actually going over a year so I'm, I've been losing hours so I really need the extra hours if I ever want to get monetized on this channel I need a lot of hours but I'm in no big hurry about it um once I do get monetized I know it it may be a while before I actually even earn money because you have to have so much ad revenue to to get paid so even when you get there but it's still like this milestone with your channel and it feels really great to get to that point where you got your thousand subscribers and you got the hours you need so it, it's a big deal when you're um a youtuber even if you know you don't make you just make a few pennies <laughs> but yeah but you have to earn a certain amount to get paid that month like but it'll roll over if you're not familiar with how that works it's like you have to you have to earn a hundred dollars that month and if you don't it'll just roll over to the next month and add to it so once you get to that hundred dollars then you'll actually get paid from youtube or it's not really youtube it's google adsense but just in case you're not familiar with how that works and want to know how that works that's how it is okay i am going to get off here this time it's been on 15 minutes so i'm making up for the two short ones but i don't want to get long ones every time so anyway merry christmas um happy holidays if you don't do christmas i hope y'all are doing well please comment share like subscribe do all the youtube -y things like lindy says i love that that's one of my favorite sayings but i'm always going to say that she says that that's where i got it from um yeah be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and happy eating everyone, and happy whatever else you're doing. Have a great day. Happy Vlogmas!